Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 8 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to create the um, curtain wall or the window. Now we're going to continue working on this. Uh, first, let's add in the roof. So let's add the roof by going to level 2. And then from here, we're going to add architecture. And then let's add in roof. So click on roof. Uncheck the fine slope. We're going to use basic roof generic. And then edit type duplicate. Let's just maintain the 200. So this one, the name, you can just put whatever. Actually, for the name, let's rename this. This will be roof number one. And then edit type. The thickness will be 200. And then let's add in just a different um, So let's use this gray mosaic apply OK and then OK again. After that, change the base level to level 3. And then let's add it from the inside by using pick line. We could just edit this later on once we create everything. So this one will be from the inside. So on this way, we will need to add it more later on. So for now, let's go inside here. Just to be consistent on the rest. And then here, let's just use this and then let's uh, close it off. Here we need to ch uh, change it from here because we, we will need to ex probably extend this walls later on. So let's TR to here, delete this one. Oh, sorry, undo that because we need to trim this. And then here we need to pick this line and then click. We need to base offset this to negative 200. Apply and then finish. You need to show it so that you will know where the location of the error is. Show Let's delete this, show again, this one is there, it's overlapping, click finish again, and then let's look at it at 3D, it will look like that. Now, we need to select all these walls, After that, attach and then click on the top or the roof. As you can see, it went down and here it didn't go down because it just went down on this spot. On this area, uh, we will need to go to level 3 and then go to underlay. So press escape first, underlay base to level 2. As you can see, we can add another wall or just simply just use exterior wall number 1. And then CS. And we need to go up to level 4. So we could use this rectangle and do this instead. 
once we do go to 3D, it will look like this. Now we're basically extending this. Go to level 3. Let's add in the same roof. So go to roof again, roof number 1. Let's use the rectangle. It will be on the um, inner. And then we could just base offset to 200. And then look at it at 3D. We actually need to base level this to 4. So now it's good. As you can see, we have this look. We can also extend this to give it a, a nice look. What I'm going to do here is something different. I'm probably going to extend this or give this the same look. So I'm going to show you what I'm planning to do later on. So this looks nice. Um, we could actually extend this or we could um, change the look later on. But either way, I'm planning to do a very nice design here. Next thing, I'm going to go to level 2. I'm going to extend this actually. And by, by using CS, I'm going to add this as well. Now we could trim this. And then now we could trim this as well. We could pull this back. This one we could delete. And this one pull back. I want to see it in here and the reason for this is I want to add in a nice um, extension here so that's why what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move this a little bit or I'm just going to move this one aligned it there so or just leave it here because I'm I'll, I'll just add in a frame for the window here so I'm gonna do that on section one no sorry um south elevation instead and here i'm just gonna pull this up like this and then now model in place generic model again and it will be an extrusion i'm going to pick this plane so use your tab to select and then here, I want it to be zero and then probably 1000. Change this to a different material. So I'm just using something that I haven't used yet. So here I'm going to create, choose rectangle and create an extension here. I'm going to pull this one down so that it will have a balcony basically. I'll maintain the 200 on this side. Here I'm going to do the 200 as well. And then at the top I'm going to do a 200 as well. So everything should be 200 only.
and then after that use your trim and extend to trim all of the corners and then delete the excess click finish and then finish let's look at it at 3d so in this way it's just that this one is overlapping what we could do is click on the walls and let's try and attach this which is we cannot because this is an extrusion I'm going to attach it more right about here to remove that gap and this gap we could just manage it later on now this one we could just pull this one down just a bit and we just need to connect this one on this side for this we need to edit profile something like this and we need to delete that and then trim and extend here and trim and extend here delete this line and then click finish so it's too much so we just need to extend this now we could just extend this now there we go We don't actually need to do that. We could just extend it. I'm just going to extend this more. It's not something that you will be seeing a lot anyway. So we just need that. I'm going to add an extrusion here for a design as well. Here at the level 4 or level 3, let's add in a curtain wall. So let's add the curtain wall right here. We can add it all around this. So now what we could do is go to modify cut geometry. wall first and then curtain wall let's see it and then let's pull this down AL here we need to cut geometry here there we go and then let's maintain the uh, the level there we go So 
so that looks nice the way it looks I think it's better if we have a thicker um, roof that is overlapping. So let me go to south and maybe we could pull this down. Okay, we could do that. So we could pull this down a little bit more. AL. So let's align it all throughout here. And the one at the base. Let's pull this up a little bit as well. Oops. And I want to fix that first, so let's go to level 3. And then let's remove the roof. For the roof now, instead of, instead of this, I want to change this to a model in place. I think it's easier for me to design it from there. extrusion and then this one let's add in an overhang so I'm going to use a rectangle to do this I'm going to align it here this is around 515 overhang and then let's do that 515 overhang. This one, let's do 200. Apply. And then change this to a different material. Click finish and let's look at it at 3D. It needs to be at level 4, but we could just manually do it like this. Now I'm thinking I want to put an overhang on all of them. I think that's the best move. We could just edit the extrusion. And go here and we want to extend it a little bit 515 here and then 515 here as well so just move it again 515 click finish look at it again click finish again now go to south and it's actually above level four. We could 
move this down so basically this around 200 negative 200 offset negative 200 here and then let's try and get all of them here by using tab and then top offset negative 200 so it's faster this one we could just pull this one one down and right here look at it at 3d and it would look like that Okay. Um, we can make this higher now to maximize the the sign here. There we go. And then here, let's add in. A decorative piece so that is level 2 in this space this is a model in place as well generic model it will be an extrusion And I will set it to level two. That's fine. For the materials, I want it to be wood. I will use this. Apply. OK. And let's use this here. Click finish. And let's look at it at 3D first, and then just extend this. There we go. Quick finish again, and we could just align it from the face. There we go. So it looks nicer like this. This one we need to extend it down because we need we need to create a door here. We need to extend this one a bit here and a bit here as well. So EL So that looks nice. We just need to extend this right here. Edit. Now just trim it and trim this. Click finish and let's look at it at 3d we need a little bit more we're going to use align to align it on the line here click finish and then we're good
how it's starting to look like a house now. We need to move this one a little bit here because I want to attach the railing here. So go to level two, click here, uh, click railing. I don't want the pipe, I want the rectangular. I'm going to add a line right here and then here and then going to here. Click finish and let's look at it. Let's change this to a different one. Maybe the pipe is good enough. Or the rectangular is good enough. We could just use this. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.